Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at how to get kills on enemies whilst they're affected by your tacticals. Quickly before we do get into today's video, if you are new and be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to not miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up and let me your thoughts on this in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so in terms of some of the knives and some of the other guns, you are going to have to get kills on enemies whilst they are affected by your tactical. So what does this mean? Basically, what you're going to want to have to do is have a tactical grenade set up. So the way that I like to do it, I find that stun grenades work the best. I mean, you could use flashes if you've got them unlocked. You could even use some of the tear gases and stuff like that. Maybe even snapshot grenades. However, I find stuns or flashes are going to be your best bet on this. And I've been running the stuns personally just because I think they work better. They're going to slow your enemies down. So they're going to blind them or slow them down, making it much harder for them to kill you. And giving you a much bigger upper hand on them, making it much, much easier for you to get that kill. And make sure you are getting that camo completed. The second tip that I'm going to say to you guys is change your vest. You want to make sure you're running the engineer vest. And the reason for this is, as you can see, you are going to be getting two stun grenades to use. So what I like to do, especially when I'm using the knives for this... So I'd have everything set up so I'd have it so I could have the best awareness of where players are on the map. I'd have UAVs popped as much as I can. And I'd also have for my gear, I would end up having the bone conduction headset because I can hear the enemy footsteps a little bit better. So I can sort of work out where my opponents are, whether they're in a building next to me, in a room next to me, or if there's going to be people coming around the corner. And what you're going to want to do is start throwing stun grenades into those areas where you know people are. If you've got a UAV popped and you're about to go around a corner, throw a stun around the corner first, wait for that first hit marker, and then chat it if you've got a gun. If you're using the knife, what I recommend is getting their first hit mark with the stun and then actually throw in a second stun round so it carries on the effect whilst you then know that they're there. It's going to give you time to get round the corner and make sure you get the kill with the knife. But if you're doing this with a gun, you could probably get away with just throwing one stun grenade, get the hit marker and then do it that way. Another way of doing this is sort of playing maps where you know a lot of people are going to run past you. So just find certain corners that you guys can go ahead and sit in. Just sit in a ratty corner, wait for them to run past. As soon as they run past you, as long as they've not seen you, you can throw your stun grenade at them, wait for it to go off and then kill them that way. It's entirely up to you how you do want to do it they, they are a little bit tedious to get i will say they are a little bit annoying to get but they're not too too difficult there's just a bit of patience that you need with it you have to play a little bit slower and you know make sure you are definitely getting those hit markers and getting the effects with the stuns and the flashes and things like that so like i said they're not too difficult to do you will do these pretty easily but they can be a little bit tedious you might just have to slow yourself down a little bit play a bit slower play out of your normal play style like i said an easy way of doing it is sitting in a corner waiting for your enemies go running past you you throw the stun at them then you can kill them while they are actually affected by the stun but that guys is the easiest way to get kills on operators while they're affected by your tacticals if the video has helped you out be sure to smash thumbs up subscribe to the channel with notifications if you have any i'll catch you on the next one in a bit